so now the next text form field that we will create as you guys know it will be for the phone number first let me remove that code from here and down in here below this password in here we will create that phone number text form field so simply we will go right at top right in here and simply copy that text form field that email one okay copy it from here simply to this text form field let me show you one more time so that you guys just don't get confused in it simply copy that and go down below below this text form field that password one in here down in here paste it so this is gonna be for the phone number control s there we go with the phone number now we will add the size box so there's gonna be hide between the password and the phone number so for that in here we will say size box and we will give the height 20 in here comma now add the const modifier to this size box now just press the control s and you guys will notice the output there we go now the next thing we should do right in here just to simply change that to the phone so the keyboard type and in there text input tag will be phone now we will simply remove that email text controller and we will go right at top and create the text controller for the phone number so simply copy that from here copy it and down below in here paste it we will change that to the phone number all good now we can simply go and use that there we go with the phone number and tax and there we go with the controller in here past it now simply on editing complete we will simply change the focus to the next tax form field that we will create it is going to be simply for the location so in here we will remove that focus node and we will go right at top and create the focus node for the location so right in here simply copy that and in here past it now we will change this to the position CP focus node so we are done with the focus node let's copy it and go down writing here on editing complete writing the phone number okay in the request focus cast it because that's going to be the next text form field that we will create for now this is the phone and you guys know already so we have successfully changed the focus and also the text input type to phone and also change the controller and the hint text phone number we also change that so now we will make a little change right in here whenever the user will enter the phone number right in here it's gonna then assign that number to this value so right inside that value we will contain the number of a user so we will modify this if condition a little bit so from here we will remove that and in here we will say if the value will be empty if there will be no phone number then we will simply return some tax and it's gonna be this is the field is missing
so if there will be no phone number then we will simply return that and if there will be a number that the user will enter then we will simply return the now and all the thing is just fine now press the control s just reload it and in here now you can enter your phone number anything you want and there we go with that working totally fine now the last text form field that we will create it will be simply for the location as I tell you so let's go and do that you guys know the whole story what we will do we will simply copy that text form field that we just created for the phone copy it from here first let me copy that size box and we will come down in here we have this text form we will paste it so this is going to be the height between the phone number and the location that we are just about to create so now simply copy the text form field to here copy this and below this size box right in here test it now below this size box as you guys can see right in here now we will change that so we will say company address or location you can type anything in here I'll go with the company address control s and there we go with the company address text form field now we will change something right in here first in here we will remove that phone and we will go with the tax also we will remove that controller it was for phone so we will delete that and just go right at top and we will create a controller for that right in here simply copy that first and what we will do simply right in here past it now we will change this to the location control copy it go down and write in the company address in tax go right in here past it so we are done with the controller now writing the on editing complete whenever you will complete it will simply change the focus but this is the last text form field as I tell you before so we're gonna not change that position CP focus node because this is the last text form field and we want the focus right in the end on this address and if you guys want to create a multiple more text form field then you guys will simply first create a focus node like I did before and whenever you complete it just use it in here in the request focus then it will simply write in the future to change the focus to the next text form field so for now this is my last text form field and that's all that's why writing here I didn't change the focus node I'll go with this one with the position CB focus node so it's gonna just leave the focus on this company address so that's fine and right in here whenever the user will enter the location right in here we can the address it will simply send that address to this value and in here we will check that value if it's content the address appropriate then we will return the no and if the address the value is empty then we will return that tax this field is missing so all is fine and the uh, style decoration everything is just on point so now just save the program control s and you guys can simply in here write the location for your company or anything so in here i'll say america california so you can type in here anything according to a personal choice working totally fine and you guys can notice that so that's it for this video right in the next video we will work further right from here so see ya